Um, my, the final area I want to discuss is logistics. An average Formula One team travels 100,000 miles in a season. They need to book 100, up to 100 hotel rooms per race. They move 100 tons of stuff. They have to mantle and dismantle all their telecoms every time they go there bring the drivers the fuel and all the other stuff. And it works. It's not a good idea to forget anything. And the race always starts on time. Those of you who've had any contact with hospitals will know that we're not very good at starting our operating lists on time or starting our clinics on time. In fact, doing almost anything on time. And I think that we need to learn from both Formula One and the logistics suppliers they use and re-ask our first question. If they can do it, why can't we? We need to build partnerships with companies and businesses that deliver more effectively than we do if we're going to be good at what we, what we do. Pediatric cardiac surgery, and certainly in my experience, has one big parallel with Formula One, and that is a relentless pursuit of excellence. And I want to explain this in a particular way and talk about minding the performance gap. And I just want to show you a graph, just as an example. If this is the national average for performance over a five-year period, it doesn't matter what it is you're measuring, say mortality. And that is the national average. That's, that's the blue is the national average, the yellow is my hospital. I could feel quite smug about that. I am better than the national average. That's where most people would like to be. But actually, I feel very upset about that because what I want to know, what really matters, is who's best in class. Because if those people who are best in class can do it, so can I. And I want to pursue that best in class position to be as good and hopefully better than they are in due course. Being better than average isn't good enough. And to do that, you have to know how everybody else is doing. And of course, in Formula One, you see that every week. We know who's good. We know who's winning. We know who's first. We need to be able to do the same thing in medicine if we're going to get uh, the level of improvement that uh, I would like to do. Ross Braun was a master of marginal gains when in all the team. And he um, specifically said that everybody in my team must be the best at that what they do in Formula One if we're going to win the championship. And he gave people individual objectives each year to try and get them to that position, and they did win. The same techniques were applied by Dave Brailsford with the British cycling team and Matthew Syed in his recent book. Now, of course, not everybody is going to be excellent all the time. Can't be. But each year you can be striving to be the best you can. I feel very proud to have worked at Great Ormond Street where that's been a philosophy, um, that pursuit of excellence. I'm very, very much um, grateful to Formula One for maintaining that tradition. Uh, and it's been a real uh, treat to work with them over the years. I think that it's important to find some phrase which sums this up. And uh, this is Stracker Racing. It doesn't show up very well on the screen. But they have a motto which sums up the difference between what I th thought when I went into surgery, that surgeons may save lives. Uh, but that's not all of it. It's about teamwork and the combined intelligence and this overall commitment to excellence which Formula One personifies and which I believe has characterised uh, our work at Great Ormond Street and many other hospitals over the years. <laughs>